Hello and welcome to another episode of my Facts and Glitches series, where I showcase some more of what I've learned about GTA 5 in the over 7,000 hours that I have been speedrunning the game. If you knock over a BMX bike on a tennis court, then attempt to get on it as you start a game of tennis, you will become permanently invisible until you die. Are we gonna do this then? Okay, check this out. My most sincere congratulations. Pardon me? Yeah. Oh, yeah. What is wrong with this city? Jesus, dude! <laughs> when you are below ground with a wanted level, cops can spawn above ground and then pursue you below. When they transition from above ground to below ground, however, they can be made invisible. Once you move to a part of the map that the game considers to be above ground, the cops will reappear. My name's Trevor! What's your name? The mission marker for Daddy's Little Girl forces you into a slow walk in an area around it. It turns out that when you enter this area, it loads in some assets that will be used in the mission. You can find these assets upstairs if you walk away instead of activating the marker. You make me one up too. Don't make me hurt you. I bet you like receiving more than giving. Underneath my fat, cowardly exterior lurks a f If you switch characters, for a single frame, Jimmy becomes visible. What is going on? Ah! Oh, you fucking fucks! Mother! Take ah! the American Dream Grand! There is a sign located here that has odd collision if you jump into the back of it. Man, screw this. Oh man! These orange tankers will not explode from pistol shots regardless of how many you fire. Even after all this damage, the tank will still require the normal 21 shots from an assault rifle to explode. Above the orange tanker near Lester's garment factory, there is a hitbox that likely belonged to a sign that at some point in development was removed. On the mission Legal Trouble, when chasing after Molly in Devon Weston's hangar, if you try to drink a soda, you will immediately mission fail. On the floor, lady! On the fucking Clear floor! The I'm just a white coat criminal! Clear 
This is true even after Molly has been taken into the jet engine. The game will suggest that she has escaped and therefore you mission fail despite her predicaments. Look out! Both Trevor and Michael's special abilities can't normally be used in vehicles. The exception to this is if you warp into a vehicle when both of the doors are blocked. Where are you assholes hiding? The ability will turn off automatically if you try to leave the vehicle. It is possible to get into Franklin's Vinewood house early, in other words, before he even possesses it. Of course, nothing of Franklin's is in there, and the only thing that really works is the TV. Alright, T, I'm in position. What's the ETA? When you arrive with the garbage truck on the mission blitz play, rather than setting it to block the road, you can instead go and find Trevor up in his perch and kill him with no consequence. Oddly, his binoculars will be invisible. If you then progress through the mission, Trevor will respawn and everything will play out as normal. However, at the very end of the mission, you can again kill Trevor, and now also Michael, without any repercussions. I moved both characters into a corner and trapped them in to make this easier to demonstrate. I'm on the move! Woo, shit, all right, man, uh, you stay safe. Come on, then, do it! What the fuck? At the beginning of the mission, NPC Franklin has the responsibility to set up the tow truck for the subsequent sections. He is not very good at it. At the end of the mission, it is possible to shoot both of Devon Weston's guards and yet still activate the cutscene. Their bodies will be there for the entire duration. Got a package for Devon Weston. Package for Mr. Weston? Come on. Have a good one, boys. On the mission, the Polito score setup, there is a scripted event where an NPC brings a bike that Trevor will then use to drive back at the end of the mission. Oddly, you can spook this NPC away. And it isn't even 30 Victor shots fired. Oh, this is a real headache. Hey! hey! Wheelchair or not, we're still faster than your ass! Well, I'm not gonna outrun a cop. We've gotta go. We're going. And if we're in front of Trevor, he'll be the one running from the cops. In testing, both on a save file up to the mission and in a mission replay, I found that Trevor will not move and the bike can be found either down the road or already at the meth lab. Well, we got here before the lord of the manor. <laughs> the man slows me down. Always has. Shooting the NPC and then looking away will cause Trevor to warp onto the bike. Perfect. Laboratory don't do it justice. Don't worry, it's gonna be fine. Look, you had any ideas about the bank? Do 
Just some bonus footage for you. I had a weird interaction between Franklin and Trevor. Hey, T, that's so weird, man, bumping into you here. So, hey, stop being an asshole! So that's it for this episode, everyone. Thank you for watching. I hope you're all doing well.